Jack, could you please not film me? Can I please not film you? Yeah. Why would I, what do you mean? Why are you pointing the camera at me? Because you just walked out and started a conversation with me? Yeah, they don't want you guys filming them. And the way the law she wasn't works. She was standing outside. She was standing inside her business. The way the law works, it doesn't matter. The way the law works is, is as long I'm as not, I'm, I'm not going to go over the law. I'm just doing it. How's it going guys? I'm against it press. We are coming to you today from Del Rio, Texas. Um, we are at the municipal building slash city hall here in Del Rio. And we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. I am out with watching the watchman today. And uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, September 23rd. It is 4.05 in the afternoon. And it is 90 degrees, sunny, breezy, and beautiful in Del Rio, Texas. Hope everyone's doing well today. And uh, appreciate you coming along. And uh, hopefully we... Uh, We'll have a good video for you here today, so stand by. Hey, make it out there, Watchman. What's up? What's happening? As you know, we never like to miss an opportunity to recognize all glory. Waving in the good solid breeze here today in Del Rio, as she should. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. All right, so a little history here. City of Del Rio was selected as Val Verde County seat when the county was organized in, 19, in 1885, excuse me. Um, so Del Rio has been around for a little while. I'll let you guys read the rest of that. You can pause it there if you are so inclined. Courtyard thing Yeah. No desert plants. Oh, there's a desert plant. <laughs> That's the landscaping here inside. So we have a uh, community posting board here. With some uh, calendars and schedules and notices. So they have a sign up saying that anyone entering this business must wear a face mask and maintain six feet of separation from other customers. Are you aware of any mandates in the state of Texas? Uh, definitely not state. I'd have to check on city, actually, I'm not sure. Well, we're about to check on that now. Yeah. As long as the door's open, we'll see if it opens up. There you go. some employment opportunities going on if you're in the Del Rio area. Yeah, it looks like this building was dedicated in 1960. Another uh, posting board here with agendas. Everyone's got one. This is a uh, restricted access here. Water fountain. Drink plenty of water. Especially if you're in uh, Del Rio or in the desert. Yeah. Progress, customer service, teamwork, Team Del Rio. Cool. Somebody's got better handwriting than I do. So here is a copy of the Public Information Act, English and Spanish, council members. Then you have 
human resources, birth and death certificates have uh, two windows. City secretary's office, not in today. And let's see, uh, the city secretary office. How are you? Hello, how are you, sir? Doing well, thank you. We have some restrooms down here, another restricted access door. It's a nice sunny office in here. Then this is utility billing. Oh, that's the drive-through. Yeah, yeah they get, I guess you can pull up and pay your uh, pay your utility. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Just a quick question for you. So, is this drive-through to pay utility payments and that kind of stuff? Yes. Okay. Very cool. I've never seen anything like that. that's cool. That's good that you could do that without coming in. Yeah. Can stay in the AC in your car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take a look at that uh, drive-through from outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so here's the uh, drive-through outside where you make those payments we just inquired about. Oh, and you have a Texas Community Bank ATM. So if you're a little shy on your cash to pay your bill, you can take your money out here too. So what was that? Somebody was poking around our car looking to see who was in it. Yeah, Mrs. AP is our lookout today. She stayed at the uh, truck and I just got a text message saying that some lady from across the street at a Farm Bureau office or something just came by looking in our car windows trying to figure out who was in the car. So I'm not sure what that's all about. But uh, we'll go take a look, so stand by. So it's the uh, Farm Bureau, Kinney Valverde Counties and Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Sorry? Can I help you? No, not at all. Oh, uh, I would what do you, appreciate it if you're not. What are, you, what are you offering? I have insurance. You need insurance? Insurance? Yeah, could you please not film me? Can I please not film you? Yeah. Why would I? What do you mean? Why are you pointing a camera at me? Because you just walked out and started a conversation with me? Because you're filming inside my building? <laughs> We're taking a look at your building. Okay, well, can I help you with something? No. I don't know. Well, like I said, I don't know. What are you offering? We sell insurance. Do you need auto insurance? No, insurance? I'm pretty good on insurance. Life insurance? No. I'm good. All right. Well, thank you. All righty. Thank day. you. You too. Now she's going to film us. We have a sign in there that says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Interesting. See, so there's a perfect example, guys. We are not even interested in this Texas Farm Bureau building across the street, right? We're in City Hall doing our thing. She comes out, for some reason just has to know what we're doing, probably and why too, and uh, looking in my truck, trying to figure out what's going on. Then we go across the street, she comes out and asks us, starts a conversation with us, puts herself on my camera, and now she's got an issue with being filmed. So she created the whole experience with her.
Yeah. We're not even here for the Farm Bureau. Don't mess with farmers. But uh, I don't know. Now that I see she's on the phone and she's calling somebody, I guess we better stick around for a few minutes and see what's going on, right? Yeah. I don't want her tall tale to be the only version of events here. You never know what people make up. Hope she's not calling the police because they have much better things to do around here. I don't know if you guys are, uh, I always recommend not following the news. Um, but uh, you can't help but hear about this one. There's a lot going on here in Del Rio. So uh, if you're not aware about it, which I would find hard to believe, uh, do a little Google search. You'll see what's going on. And she's still standing right there in the door. I don't know if you guys could see her through their tent. But she's right inside the door and she's on the phone. So we have another one coming by. So think about before the police officer gets here, think about what just happened. You have another one coming the other way. Yeah. These two ladies decide that they don't want to be on camera because there's two guys out on the sidewalk filming and they call the police and this is the response you get. So we have another one behind us here too. Yep. Yeah. How are we doing? How are you guys doing? Doing good. Where you from? Sorry? Where are y'all from? Can I ask who I'm speaking with? My name is Officer Hammock with the Dover Police Department. Officer Hammock. Hammock. And badge number? 2377. 2377, thank you. Yeah. Did we just got some calls about you guys out here filming, just wondering what, what was the reason for it. I'm wondering what's the reason I'm out here filming? Yeah. Just because I feel like being out here filming? South Dakota. South South Dakota? South Dakota? I'll, I answer certain questions. Some questions, some questions question. I choose not to answer. You can't answer that question? I could, but some questions I choose not to answer. What's your name? That's another question I choose not to answer. How are we doing, officer? How are you doing? How's it going? I just ask name and badge number? Yeah, officer Homer Pettis, badge number 1932. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it. What's going on, guys? Out enjoying the beautiful day. Oh, yeah? Y'all yeah. working with somebody or just... I'm sorry? Y'all working with somebody or just freelance? Well, like I was just telling this gentleman, I don't answer all your questions. I'll answer okay. some of them. Okay, that's fine. I just want to see what you're up to, that's all. Sure. If you're working with somebody that's part of the media or just freelancers, that's it. Just doing what I do. Just filming? Yeah. Okay, cool. The only thing we've had is we had a call from the, I don't know who at this point, asking us if we could have y'all step off. If y'all don't want to, that's fine. It's a public roadway, public view. You had view. a call from South I believe it was these two ladies across the street. Yeah, I don't know at this point, man. Mm -hmm. uh, that's no, you know who called you. No, I don't. Actually, I asked my dispatchers if they call want to make contact. Sometimes they refuse. So at that point, it's just a concerned citizen. Asking if you know, and people contact. actually call you because somebody's out on the sidewalk, unfortunately, taking pictures. Yeah, really? Yeah, don't you think that's ridiculous? Uh, you know what? I just gotta uphold, I do my part of my job for right, right. Service. But, I'm, but I'm sure you wouldn't call up if you saw somebody out taking pictures I, on the sidewalk, I get right? That, man, but I, at this point, I just have a job to do again. I got you. There's nothing y'all yeah. are doing wrong. Oh, I know it's that. I don't do anything roadway. wrong. I know that. Yeah, it's yeah, public yeah. roadway, public yeah. place, public buildings, all that good stuff. Okay, I and mean, there's no there's no criminal offenses right now. All right, cool. Ask you, that's it. Is the what, what's your deal with uh crossing where there's no crosswalk? Is that a jaywalking offense? Jaywalking right now? Yeah. Are uh, you crossing the, you know, cross the road without a crosswalk? Or? No, no, no. I'm asking. Is that, I'm not from Texas, so is that against the law in Texas? Okay. Uh, don't let me at the crosswalk. There's a designated cross area to, like, towards that intersection. You can utilize that. Okay. If but I, am I allowed to cross here? If you want to cross, well, I'm going to go ahead and cross. Right, cool. I, no appreciate you, no I, traffic, I appreciate you, so. man. I appreciate you being professional okay. and courteous. Not a problem, guys. That's gonna be a private business. Let's step real quick. Yeah, they don't want you guys filming them. Just so we all don't want to answer all the questions. They don't want. They're asking. They can want them. whatever they want. What does that mean? They don't want they me have filming. They the same rights you do, actually. Sure, they do. They have. We all have the same rights. Exactly. Right. But they don't have a right to not be filmed in public. They're not in public, though. You're public, but huh. they're not in public. Well, first of all, she they're was just she was just standing outside. At her and, business. And the way the law she works. She was standing outside. She was standing inside her business. The way the law works, it doesn't matter. The way the law works is, is as long I'm as. Not, I'm, I'm not going to go over the law. I'm just doing it. Well, then I don't want to have a conversation right. with you. Have a good day. Kick rocks. Take off. Bye. Later. You're dismissed. Have a good day. Adios. Can't film them. Yeah. Good one. 
Oh, she's going to learn a lesson today. Why don't you tell her the truth? See, now what these guys do is they show up. They're going to foster their fears. Yeah. Instead of flat out just telling them, listen, they're on a public sidewalk. They can film anything they can see. And that's the end of the story. Have a good day, ladies. If you don't want to be seen, pull your blinds down. Yes, yeah, so we'll stick around and wait and see what happens. Stand by. There is absolutely nothing illegal about taking video or photographs out in public. And that's why we're out here, guys. So it may seem trivial to some, but, you know, this is how your rights disappear. They start with things you don't care about. You'll go, oh, what do I care? I don't take video in public. Who cares? Then next thing you know, you'll have another issue and then another issue. So did we tell them what the law is, guys? We I know you don't care about the law. Yeah, but no, we do. We actually have the law. No, yes, your, your officer here just told me you didn't want to hear about the law. Okay. Yeah, I, I already heard have about it, the let's law. Go. You know, obviously, you know, okay. you're a little confused. So okay. I hope, the, I hope this officer Thank straightened you. you out. And I, I sincerely hope you educated these young ladies so they don't have to be in fear going forward, you know? Oh, no, absolutely. But they're in a the private business, though. So. Doesn't matter. I go, look, I, I could stand here if I want to, right? And I could film right into their windows, and there's nothing you or them can do about it. Thank you. Right? So we need to tell them that so people aren't afraid. Right? Yeah, let's go check out his car, too, see what he's got going on. This is why you guys have the problems with the public that you have, man. We're out here trying to help you and you're too dumb to realize it. It's a shame. So this is a vehicle 8029. Thinks that people can dictate what you take pictures of in public and what you can't. That's just foolish, man. We could have had a very productive conversation, you and I. I but I guess you want to celebrate your ignorance. No, you I didn't. I tried having a conversation. No, you didn't. Well, you wouldn't answer my question. That's not a conversation. You got to get off your high horse, man. You're going to get yourself or one of your good cops out there hurt one day. We're all good cops. We're all good cops. We're all good cops. I believe no, that. I don't believe any of that crap. We're all good photographers. Yeah, you believe that one? You're a clown, bro. Total clown. So you got Texas plate 1104474. The clown car. And let's go back and film in front of their windows, right in front of these guys, so nobody uh, gets confused. Oh, they closed early. Look at that. Is it five already? 436, they're closing up early today. Oh, there she goes. Bye, troublemaker. Bye. Bye, use your directional signals to walk. Professionalism. Yeah, there it goes. There goes your professionalism. So this guy, I'll, I'll tell you what, this guy was a little bit more decent. Um, but you know, same department, cut from the same mold, and that's what you get. So this is vehicle number 1356788. Yes, sir. So uh, you were being a decent guy. Your other guy was giving me a little bit of a hard okay. time, but you seem a little more educated. You were being okay. decent. So I, I, do you know what we're doing out here? As far as what, sir? Do you know why I'm here taking video? Um, this, what we're doing is a First Amendment audit here at City Hall. Okay. And I'm sure you're familiar with them, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just, you earned my respect by being a decent professional human being. So that's why I'm explaining to you what that. we were doing. Uh, your other officer needs to get an attitude check, but that's up to you. <laughs> I don't know if you're... Uh, his supervisor, um, or you're I'm just the responding actually. officer, so just you were in charge of the scene? Yeah. Okay. No, I just wanted to respond, that's all. Yeah, so I think it's very important, okay? We support good law enforcement. And I appreciate I want to that. tell you that, okay? But, you know, not everybody, just like there's good photographers and bad photographers, right. you got good cops, bad cops, okay? And the reason we're out here mm -hmm. is for people like this young lady, we weren't even in front of her place, we were on this side of the street. Right. Mm -hmm. So the reason we're here is for people to understand, both law enforcement and the citizens, that we are free to take pictures and video yeah, out in public. There's no reason to waste your time. There's a lot more going on in Del Rio than a couple of guys with cameras, yeah, right? right? Now, yeah. So, you know, it's a little bit silly. And we rely on you guys to show up, be professional, uphold your oath, right. and explain to them what's going on because that'll also help them and they don't have to be afraid next time somebody's walking right. around taking and I, video. And I let them know that. I let them know that absolutely. Good. I appreciate that. But 
Um, I'm just going to ask you a quick question, then I'll let you get back to work because I know okay. you're busy. Um, but you're coming across as one of the good guys here. Appreciate okay? that. Okay, because like I said, there's good and bad and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to ask you, as a good police officer, <laughs> right, Go what ahead. do you think a good police officer's worst enemy is? I don't think we have worst enemies, really. We're just... We all have worst enemies. Uh, not at all. I mean, every call is different for us. Unfortunately, here in Del Rio, we're a pretty small community. We respond to all kinds of call for services. So let, let me tell you what I feel that your worst enemy is. Okay. A bad cop. Absolutely, yeah. Because bad cops are out there getting you guys hurt. And, you know, somebody could have a bad experience with that officer that just left here right. today, mm -hmm. right? Next thing you know, a week or two goes by, they're still upset about it, you pull them over, now they're going to take it out on you and your family's going to have to deal yeah, with that. Good point there. So he's not doing you any favors. Yeah, you got a point You know, there. you don't go around pissing people off. You got to act <laughs> respect. When you guys walked out, I didn't want to answer all your questions, but I was being courteous and respectful. Right, I'm not giving you a hard time. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not breaking the law. I'm not intruding on anybody's privacy. Mm -hmm. You know, anything, the way the law works, which you seem to know is, if I'm anywhere, if I'm standing somewhere right. and I'm allowed to be, I can videotape or photograph anything my Definitely. eyes can see, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's important to, after you leave here, catch up with that guy, just let him know what went yeah, on. Let I'll him know you and I had this conversation. No, I'll, I'll, I'll let him know. I mean, we'll, we'll talk it over. If you're on the good side of things and you're a good police officer, we support mm -hmm. you and we want to help you have a better relationship with the citizens here. No, if you're that. a bad police officer, we want to mm -hmm. catch you and expose you. <laughs> that's what we're doing. No, I get you. And I that's doing that. you a favor as well, because like I said, these guys aren't doing you any favors, man. No, Somebody's going to get really upset with him one day, and they're going to take it out on some poor guy that didn't do anything. No, I get you. Could be a citizen, could be a good cop, could be anything. Yes, sir. So I appreciate you. No, don't let you. this world and what's going on and everything uh, get you bitter or tainted or anything like that. Uh, you don't seem like that kind of guy, but you know, take this guy in the locker room, have a little conversation yeah, with him well, before he winds up getting somebody or himself hurt. I get you. I you know, you. your your I whole key to your policy is de-escalation. Absolutely. Right? Because once things go up, it's very hard to bring them back down. Yeah, you're right. So if you're a good cop and you're coming across that way, I appreciate you. We support you. Thank Stay you. safe out there. But seriously, man, have a talk with, if you don't want to confront them, talk to one of your sergeants, talk to somebody, but put an end to that stuff because police are in a unique situation uh -huh. where you guys police yourselves. No, you're Most right. people that have a job have a boss, have somebody else. You have bosses, but your department polices itself. Yeah. So it's important that you do that. And we try to hold ourselves accountable. You're absolutely right, sir. Yeah, and you got to hold your other officers accountable, yeah. too, because like I said, I don't want to see you get hurt because of something stupid he did. No, I understand, sir. You know? All right, that. but you have a wonderful day. We appreciate you, too, you man. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. All right, so that was vehicle 8655. Um, we'll wrap it up here, Watchman. Yeah. All right, so, uh, you know, I'm glad we had an opportunity to have that conversation with this officer. I really do honestly believe that he gets it. Uh, the other guy, I, you know, you can just, that, that was a tale of two cities right there, the good and the bad of policing. Um, one of them was willing to communicate, work through a situation, gather the facts, do his investigation, find out what was going on, speak to both parties. The other guy was just either answer my questions or I'm not talking to you. So guys like that, I don't even want to have a conversation with them. Um, not interested, not worth it. Uh, but a good police officer, I'm happy to talk to all day. A good human being, I'm happy to talk to all day. Uh, but that's it, so pretty self-explanatory. I really am sorry that the girls over at the Farm Bureau here decided to handle their day that way. Uh, pretty foolish and uh, really didn't create any good results for them. Um, but at the end of it, we had an opportunity to speak with this law enforcement officer and hopefully that bears some fruit. So uh, that's it. Uh, always like to remind you guys before we cut out that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you wanna support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something we're out here getting an education every day and we hope we're spreading that around and uh, we hope you're learning something too. I also invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. Uh, his channel's coming up on 85,000. He's getting near that 100,000 subscriber mark. Um, he's working really hard at it. He puts a lot of good information and facts and maps and things in his video. Plus, of course, his uh, commentary and his perspective. Uh, so I invite you to check him out and show him some support if you're so inclined. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, Watching the Watching is my son, 17-year-old son, uh, about to turn 18. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's going to wrap it up. We're going to hop in a truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you. I don't want to say the day is young, but there's some daylight left, and we're going to uh, ride around Del Rio here and see what else we can find. So coming to you from the municipal building in Del Rio, Texas, Watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.